Pasturo, 60 kilometers north of Milan in the Italian Alps. Population, 2,000. Altitude, 650 meters above sea level. The village is at the base of the Sentiero Grigne Mountains and was the site recently of the final race in this year's Boof Skyrunner World Series. 6 a.m. on the morning of the race. 418 runners from 13 countries are preparing for one of the more technically demanding courses on the six race series. The culmination of an ever-expanding discipline, this year also featured eight trials races, encompassing 11 countries and attracting 5,000 athletes from 30 nations. Marino Giacometti is the president for the Sport at Altitude Federation. Today's race is very technical because it includes two mountain summits and there are also lots of fixed rope sections, so it's a bit of a mix of sky running and mountaineering. Other races are more runnable, but either way, the athletes who win are always the Formula One of high altitude runners. Some are faster on the descent, some others cope better with the technical aspects, but from 2,000 meters up, it's the same for everyone. With double points on offer for the Sentiero Grigne race, there's a lot at stake for the leading runners. Ahead lie 43 kilometers of mountain running and a total vertical climb of 6,400 meters. Last year's world champion, Kilian Jornet from Catalonia, is looking to retain his crown this year. This is quite a difficult race as it's so long. It's 43 kilometers and it's also very technical, especially the first climb. The last part of the route is very uneven too, with lots of ups and downs. You have to be careful about saving energy to get to the last bit in good shape. And you also have to be aware of how the other athletes are doing, what sort of shape they're in. One of Kilian's main rivals is compatriot and teammate Agusti Rock. We are athletes who like nature as well as having very good physical attributes. You have to be very determined and in excellent shape to deal with these sorts of races. Besides, we like nature and being on the mountains and that makes the physical effort less painful and easier to deal with than it would for a person who finds himself on the mountains and isn't so in awe of them. After 25 kilometers, Rock was setting a fast pace, pulling his Salomon Santiberia teammates, including Killian, along with him. But the Sentiero Grigne race wasn't ever going to be one of Rock's favorites. As an athlete, I prefer shorter, faster races. This one is very technical, with lots of rocky terrain and some rope passages. Its overall length is something that I'm not going to enjoy either. With another climb and descent still to go, Killian moves into the lead after the halfway mark, running with another of his teammates, Jesse Hernandez. Amongst the women, Scotland's Angela Mudge and France's Corinne Favre are battling it out for overall honours. The course takes its toll on Mudge, who falls behind on the technically demanding chain section, allowing Favre to move into contention. As the high-altitude athletes return to the start-finish line in Pasturo, Killian has maintained his leading position. Last year's record holder posts a winning time this year of 4 hours, 44 minutes and 40 seconds. Killian is a real champion. They're not born every year. He's still very young, very able. He's a machine and complete with it. He's got a big engine, but also a very good brain, and he knows how to use it.
In the women's race, Farr finishes second to Italy's Emanuela Brizio to claim her third Sky Running World Series title. Corinne Favre is a genius and a rule breaker. She has a very big heart and she's a great performer. And in the end, she has a lot of strength to win races. I've always had staying power and stuck it out on the circuit. But now I'm beginning to have had enough of all this, really. I'm doing a lot of mountain climbing and I would like to follow that path a bit. Some mountaineering and rock climbing as I like them very much. The Federation is set to expand as it gears up for the 2012 Sky Games, the Olympics of the sport. We'll bring you all the high altitude action from the Booth Sky Running World Series 2009 as the discipline goes truly international. <laughs> <laughs>